at 11 o'clock this morning, the massive amount of cars, 41 of them in total, got going then at Circuit Paul Ricard de Castellet. It started with some contact between Roman Rusinov and Phil Hansen, who was trying to get up the inside, but around the outside, Yife Ye would take the race lead. However, we would learn subsequently that Yife Ye was out of position as the race began, and he would have to take a penalty because of that. Got an awesome getaway, but possibly because he was in breach of the regulations. There was a little bit of contact for one of the two of the middle order. But generally speaking, everyone got through turns one and two safely and then down to turn five, which is the next pinch point on the opening lap, which sent uh, GTE cars at some rather unconventional lines, not only for the 77 WeatherTech Porsche, which straight line turn five, but it also went incredibly wide at turn five as well, and at the same time took the GTE lead, but later on we would see Christian Reed concede that to Ollie Hancock. A car stuck right in the middle of the track was the number nine Graf car for LMP3, Full course yellows brought out not for that reason, but partly because of some debris, partly because of the one aim Villorba Corsa car stuck at turn five for Alessandro Bressan, an instant retirement and a real terrible start to the year for Villorba Corsa. A early bit of battling between the two inter Europol competition cars. They would later be involved in some contact with the number 60 Ferrari right here on the exit of the uh, turn. 11 and that was partly because of a spun uh, iron links ferrari right in front of them as well which had missed first time around then this shoulder barge into turn three between the lmp3 car of the polish team and the 60 ferrari once again yellow flags and safety car brought out because of the stranded number 13 machine went back to racing and this nasty incident between michael fassbender and manuela gosner it would put the 83 iron dames ferrari out on the spot, Gosner limped the 488 back to the pit lane, but after the team had assessed the rear suspension, they worked out that that would not be uh, a, a car that could rejoin. The 93 car was amazingly rebuilt and did get to the finish. G-Drive for it with an awesome overtake at turn five. This a frightening moment for CR Cruz as the rear of his team Virage LMP3 car went up big time. Then the pit stops, the final stops for the GTE cars for car 55 and the eventual race winner, number 80, Iron Lynx for um, the winners in Barcelona. A first ever win for DKR Engineering for Jean-Philippe Desraux and Laurence Hoare. And it's a first win of the year for G-Drive Racing with the Aorus 01. Well done to Nick de Vries, who did the business at the end. Confirmation now of the results after round three of the season, the four hours of Le Castellet. It's G-Drive Racing with the Aura 01, who are victorious. Roman Rusinov, Franco Colopinto, Nick De Vries. United Autosports get two cars on the podium, though. That looked relatively unlikely at maybe half distance. Duquesne finished fourth ahead of Team WRT and the racing team Turkey Outfit, who win Pro-Am ahead of Algarve Pro Racing and Panis Racing. DKR Engineering are winners for the first time in the LMP3 category, ahead of the team that's done all the winning to this point, Cool Racing, United Autosports also make the podium in LMP3 with their number two car and in GTE it's another win for Iron Lynx and the number 80 55 finished second the spirit of race Ferrari third position and a close run thing only 1.4 seconds be between the 88 and the 77 Proton competition Porsche doing the chasing four cars did not make the finish most of which I've already explained about